So now we have fully assembled the electric Tiger dog bike from Nitro Motors. As you could see, it's not much work to do. Just few parts has to be put it together. Hi guys and welcome back to next unboxing and assembly instruction video from Mini Bike Store video blog. In today's video I'm gonna be unboxing and I will show you step by step how to properly assemble the 1100W 36V Tiger electric door bike from Nitro Motors. This is a brand new product. It just arrived to our warehouse in 2019. It is a great selling bike. So we decided to make the video and show you how to properly assemble the bike. You can purchase one of them from our website. The link to our shop is in the description. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So here it is how the bike looks like outside the cardboard box. As you can see the bike is secured in the steel frame. So it will arrive to your home safely. All the parts we have attached to the steel frame. Uh, there is not much work to assemble the bike. As you can see 90% of the bike is pre-assembled. We have all the cables connected. We have the motor installed, batteries. So everything is pre-assembled. The only few parts we have to put it together like handlebars, the front wheel. And uh, now I will show you step by step how to do it. So first you need to disattach the box just here. This attach the front mood guard, which is attached to the rear wheel, just here, and remove it. Here on this side we have the front wheel, so cut the zip ties which hold the wheel, and remove it. Now let's open the box here and see what we get with the bike. So here in the box we have the front mood guard. We have the cover for the handlebars. Here we have the bag with bolts and parts. Here we have the rear fender. Here we have the charger for the lithium battery and the user manuals in German language but you can follow our YouTube channel, we will show you on our YouTube channel all you need to know about the bike. So now you can start assembly, first we need to disconnect the frame, remove all the bolts all around which holds the frame together. We need to also remove these two bolts here. Now you can remove the top frame. Next you have to remove the front axle. So unscrew the nut just here. Lift the bike a little bit and push the axle out. Just like this. Don't lose the spacers. Next, cut the wire here at the back which holds the rear wheel with the frame. And now you have to lift the bike and place it on the stand, just like this. Next, disattach the handlebars. Unwrap them. In the back here we have the clamps for the handlebars and the bolts. So. Remove the two clamps and the four bolts. Place the handlebar in position. Make sure the cables are not twisted. If they are, just untwist them. Place the clamp on the top and the bolt through it. And the second one. And the other clamp, also secure it with the bolts. Now place the handlebars on the middle. Hold it. And tight all the four bolts.
Next, remove these three bolts here on the bottom. Prepare the front fender, it's just here. Remove the foil from it, insert the bolts through it and back into the four clamps. And tie the bolts well. Next, you will need to install the front mud guard here. So remove these two bolts here. Place the mud guard in position. And insert the bolts from the top. And the second one. and tight bolt ports. Next you will need to install the front wheel so you can prepare the front wheel. Check the air pressure in the wheel and inflate it if needed. So first you need to remove the brake just here. Remove this bolt here. If the brake cable is from inside, you need to move it to the outside like this. So don't forget to do it. Now place the wheel in position, just like this. Prepare the front axle, the spacers. So when you look close, one, is, one spacer is longer, one is shorter. So you need to insert the longer spacer from the side of the disc brake. So insert the axle through the fork, then through the spacer, through the wheel. And on the other side, spacer, and then through the fork, just like this. And secure it with the nut, and tie the nut well. So now you need to install the brake caliper. So first remove this bolt here. Insert the brake disc between the brake pads. Just like this. Then the bolts through it. And tie the bolts. So now we have the front of the bike assembled and we can move into the back. So here at the back we have the wheel pre-assembled, we have the brake caliper pre-assembled, we just have to insert the rear shock absorber and the cover here. So remove these two bolts here. Now put the cover just here. Insert the board through it and then into the frame and the second board. And into the frame. Just like this. Next, remove the bolt here on the bottom of the rear shock absorber. Insert the shock absorber through the hole here. Just like this. Now, lift the rear wheel. 
place the rear shock absorber in position and insert the bolt through it. Just like this, secure it with the nut. And tighten the bolt. Next you need to do a quick checkup just to make sure that the wheels are inflated, the brakes are properly adjusted. They are here. Also check the chain, make sure it's properly adjusted, it is here. And the front wheel is also properly adjusted. So now we have the bike fully assembled and we can test the bike. So first in here in the back you will find the fuse. You need to insert the fuse just in the fuse box just here. Don't worry if it will light, it's normal. Just here on the right hand side you will find the ignition. Insert the key into ignition and turn it to on like this. Now you can see we have the lights on on the battery indicator. You can twist the... Here we have the on-off switch, so now you can see it's not going. We can test the switches just here. We have the three switches which we can turn. The first one here on the top is for the soft start, so when you turn it, this switch into the left, there is no soft start, and when you turn it to the right, the bike has a soft start. This switch here is to regulate the speed, so now it's slow, and now we have full speed. So all is working, we can turn off the key. <clears throat> so once we have tested the bike, we can remove the covers from the stickers. So first remove the one here from the front. You can install the holder for the brake line. Just like this and the cover here on the top of the handlebars. And now the very last step is to remove the covers from the all the stickers. So now, so now the bike is almost ready to go. The first thing you have to do, you have to plug in and charger. The charger socket is just on the left hand side here. Plug in and charger, fully charge the battery and then you can use the bike. You have to remember to always keep the batteries fully charged. So don't leave them empty. They are lithium ion batteries. They are very sensitive for the low voltage. So always keep the battery nice and fully charged. In the next videos we're gonna do a review of this bike, we'll also test the bike, so stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like the bike you can purchase it from our website, the link to our shop is in the description, we deliver our products to 32 European countries, so check the link in the description, thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next video.